Well, um, dear students, I want to talk about the elaborate educational curricula um, of the philosopher King according to Plato. Once selected, and of course, I mean, these are political um, philosophers and political thinkers and their views, so you are at liberty to question or to critique them, especially when we are having interactions in class. But Plato argues that once selected as philosopher king, um, from ages zero to 19 years, um, the philosopher king must have his mind and brain tuned by he being taught music, poetry, and then fables. Music, poetry, and fables. I believe when you were in your kindergartens and your nurseries, you were taught music, poetry, and fables. And the idea, according to Plato, um, is to train your brains, tune your mind. So it's not for nothing that they will be asking you to be reciting poems and be reciting rhymes. They just want to tune your brain, tune your mind. And then from age um, 20 to 30 years, oh, um, yes, from age 20 to 30 years, the philosopher king, according to Plato, is also trained in the art of gymnastics that builds the body, trains the body, and brings about discipline. Um, and also, within that same age bracket of 20 to 30 years, um, the teaching curriculum is upgraded to include logic, astronomy, and then the study of mathematics, logic and critical thinking, astronomy, and then also the study of mathematics. Now, from 30 years upward, the philosopher Ken is also trained in philosophy. He taught philosophy, dialectics. Dialectics is investigating truths in opinion people shares. So, um, from 30 years upward, the philosopher Ken is trained, or he's taught much philosophy, and then also trained in dialectics. And from there, for the next 15 years, philosopher Ken is also tested in the art of governance and warfare. How many people are trained in the dogmas and the rudiments of governing? Everybody gets upset, as for me, I can be a politician, as for me, I can, I can govern, I can be elected to govern. No, the philosopher king is made to undergo an exercise or a training in how to govern and a tra and training in how to lead warfare for 15 years. Presidents get up in Africa and say, I'm the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Do you know how to war? Do you know how to lead the people to go into war? Philosopher King is saying that you should be trained in the art of warfare and in the art of governance for 15 years. Now, having undergone um, this training in the art of governance and warfare for 15 years, um, there would also be five years of observation. Having undergone all the training, you are observed for five years to see whether you can or you have imbibed or assimilated the kind of training that may have been given to you. Now, after five years observation, philosopher King, according to Plato, says at age 50, you are right, you have arrived and you are right to be able to govern. So when he's governing, these are some of the things that he can do. Number one, Plato says that he must have absolute power and absolute discretion. Absolute power and absolute discretion. Number two, he must not be limited by any constitution. Don't limit him, uh, fetter him by any constitutional um, provision. Number three, he should be able to tell medicinal lies. Medicinal lies essentially are lies that suits, but at the same time bring some peace. So, so long as he's telling you lies and it will bring peace, he should be able to go about it. He must not have, uh, he must not have, property he can call his own everything that he touches you see indeed he said he must not touch gold nor silver so i mean it is supposed to check the philosopher king from attempting to be corrupt so he must not have property he can call his own the property that he might he may, he may use will belong to the states so he must not have property he must not have his own money he must not have his own gold or silver 
he must not have a wife or children he can call his own meaning he can give birth with any woman and then his children will be taken care of by the community he's not the one who is supposed to be taking care of people struggle struggle and zest for their wife and children he must not have wife that he can call his wife he must not have children that he can call you know his children like i said his children is always put in a pool within the community and the community um takes care of these children and so you ask yourself will he be happy but the idea is that be given his training he's supposed to be happy about these conditions of, of of service and so if you look at the whole idea of the philosopher packing it has good sides it has bad sides but um i would want us to discuss or to appraise the whole idea of philosopher king in a lecture hall talking about what is good about it and what you think or what you find problematic about it in my next lecture i will be looking at aristotle thank you